Hello, this is the second episode of Fields of Battle, a series where I discuss different Smash 4 stages and how to utilize the different aspects in competitive play. Today we'll be going over Battlefield, a stage that's been in Smash since Melee. It is uh, one of the most commonly seen stages in tournament play. Even in casual play, it's a pretty light stage. Very simple. So let's just get right to it. So the stage layout is pretty simple. We have one kind of small main platform, and then you have three platforms in a triangle shape about. So before even discussing the layout of the stage, I need to discuss how platforms work in this game. I think everyone watching knows how platforms work in the basic level. Jump on them, you can fall through them, you can jump through them. Generally they're small and they are flowing in the air, sometimes they move because of the stage. Now in this game, a few interesting aspects of platforms. Unlike in Melee and Brawl and I believe Smash 64, if you're shielding a platform, you cannot be knocked off while you're shielding unless you buffer it and attack during shield stun. Which means if you're shielding a platform, you have to worry about someone hitting you and then following up while you're platforming off the platform. So right there, platforms in this game are much easier to camp. The only thing you have to watch out for is shield poking, which is a... Uh, it's a lot harder to shield poke in this game, as far as I can tell. There are less moves that do it. I'm not sure if the way shield properties are or the moves are. But just know that, generally speaking, if you're on a platform, most characters don't have easy ways to punish you for the shooting on the platform, unless you shoot it through, though. And now, uh, so how platforms apply to actual gameplay, though. Generally speaking, you have a character like Ness or Diddy Kong who may want to perch from the air. Platforms make a perch from the air much harder. Because quite simply, yeah, I'm going to throw Rob on the ground, for example. So let's say Rob is on the ground. And Robin has strong space control. Now he's on the platform, under the platform though. Normally you want to like go and try to short up fair Robin. Which you can still do a short up fair, but... The option is limited, you cannot do like a full hop fair and fast fall because the platform will stop you from hitting Robin. You also cannot throw a banana. Here, I'll try this. I'll try this a little bit better. Also cannot throw a banana on top of Robin. Because the platform's there. Finally, you can't go side being and hitting Robin from above. Because it's platform. So that's one of the main things about platforms is characters can camp under them and really limit it most options. Like now my approach is against Rob because he's on this platform or like running out of it to grab, rolling into him, short up forward airing which is much more predictable, doing grounded side B. All this stuff which is much easier to predict and limit and punish. So generally speaking when you have stages with platforms, characters that are really your favorite are stages, I mean characters who are either perch by ground, have strong ground zoning tools, or, um, what else? Or projectile users oftentimes, because you use projectile, and you're covering this entire space on the platform and outside of it. The opponent has to deal with that, knowing that they can't actually get from above you. If they do, you land on the platform. They can just easily hit you with any move and get to the other platform, so. Another interesting thing about platforms is, uh, you can do the same thing with ledges. Like, uh, you can do the same thing with this ledge over here. But you'll see a lot on stages with platforms is you can, with certain moves, cancel the moves on the platform ledges. So, Diddy Kong side B is a perfect example of this. So normally you use side B, you have a bit of landing leg. Now let's see if I can get it, it's pretty difficult sometimes. See right there? I'll even do it in slow-mo. I'm gonna side B, but I'm gonna touch the platform. Oops. I'm going to side B and the goal is going to be touching the platform near the edge of the platform. See, look, right here. I did the kick, the kick came out, so I had that hitbox, but because I touched the edge of the platform, I slid off of it as the hitbox came out, so I have no leg whatsoever. I can do whatever I want. I can even just do another side B. Now, if timed right, you can do this multiple times into different platforms and just keep moving around. It is a very strong option for lots of characters, such as Diddy Kong. 
Um, I believe Bowser Jr. has something similar to this. Sheik did before she got nerfed, now it's taken away. So yeah, it depends on your character, you have to know your character well, but a lot of options can just be cancelled using the edges. Well, not just platforms, but ledges as well, but you see it most in platforms. Because it's much more useful in stages like this. Now another thing about platforms is they let you extend jungles. N jungles, not jungles. I don't think there are any jungles in this team, anyway. So, for example, I'm going to throw a Robin up. Up here. Oops, I messed it up. Let's get Robin to about 40% so I can show it better. Or 20. So, I'm going to throw a Robin, do an up air. Now, normally, oops, because I'm getting close to the middle of the stage for this. So normally, throw a robin, do an up air, do a forward air or something, it's end of his juggle right there. Pretty simple. I think everyone has four Diddy Kong at least once and just got hit by that, it'd be like uh, 20 something damage. Now on a stage like this, through the platforms, you can use these platforms as stepping stones to just juggle better. Up air. Now instead of going for the immediate up air or forward air, I'm going to do jump on the platform first, then go for an aerial. It gives me, it doesn't necessarily combo, but it's hard to avoid those follow ups. And so it gives me another 9 damage. Now, certain characters get more from than others. Like, Ness can probably just do more forward airs. I've seen Falcon do ridiculous combos using up airs because he falls so fast and has such a little landing lag. And then there are characters like Me Fighter, who can throw you onto the platform, and then they can jump on the platform with you and read your tech, and they do, they get a free grab, which you can use a follow up to kills or something. So it's character specific. But generally speaking, you can jump on the platforms when someone's high in the air, just to follow up, get more combos, even just do more mix-ups. If you throw someone onto a platform, you can oftentimes jump on there, read their tech, or even just frame trap their tech if you're really fast, you have a good character for that, and just punish them. So yeah, characters who have strong combo games vertically, I mean horizontally, you're gonna love these kind of stages. Uh, but another aspect of these stages with the platforms is you can use the platforms as a landing option. I'm just gonna, well, so, where is it fixed? So I'm gonna hit Robin up here. Now, normally, this situation, if you had no, let's just say the top platform was the stage. Let's just say the top platform was like FD or something. Normally trying to land, where do you, you have to land on the stage or on the ledge? You don't really have many landing options. You can try footstone Diddy, you can throw an attack out, you can air dodge. But the height of which you're going to land is always the same. But now with these platforms, you're going to see Robin has so many options to land. Robin can land on the top platform with Diddy. And you can either throw an attack out, footstool him, air dodge. Get close and jump away. So he's at. He can fall away and land towards either the left or right platforms. While having the same options. He can also go towards one of the platforms and then fall through it if he thinks Diddy Kong is going to shield and wait for something. So that's just another option right there. He can go towards the ledges as well. Once again with all the same options, attack, near dodging, etc. And he can even like navigate through the platforms and land on stage. So a character with really bad landing, unless they're fighting someone with really good ways to trap you in the air like Diddy Kong or um, Meta Knight can really utilize the platforms and stages like this to get away from juggles as much as juggles get buffed they also get nerfed depending on the character because you had so many more options just to the varying heights of platforms even if there's only one platform that single platform would give you twice as many landing options so essentially you say take bath with three platforms and each other gives you four times as many landing options and yeah so that's the basics of platform play and how platforms can be utilized. There's a lot more about platforms, but I just want to keep it very simple, concise for this video. So the, the quick summary platforms here. You can use them to camp on there with characters with strong ground games or strong projectile games. Characters who approach by the air or mix up using high air moves or even projectiles that fall from above. Get extremely limited options when you're on their platform. You can use platforms to camp on there with the cap on top of with your shield, 
can use platforms for character specific gimmicks like canceling moves. You can use platforms to uh, extend jungles. You can use platforms to uh, have better landing options. And yeah, now I'm going on to actually the layout of Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield is pretty self explanatory. No uh, hazards, nothing changes. It's just one small triangle, I'd say. So, one of the main things I touched on this earlier is you can move around very freely in this stage if you have a lot of vertical, yeah, vertical mobility. So a character like Diddy Kong has high jumps, decent fall speed, lots of area movement with his side B, can just dance around the stage freely. So, Diddy's a good example. Oh, Sheik is a good example of a character who can dance around freely. What else? Um, I consider uh, Falcon gets a lot of mobility buffs in this stage because he's not forced to just approach you and move around flat. But generally speaking, characters with very fast aerial mobility are going to love these kind of stages because they get so much more when they can go up and down, left and right, and really just feel free. And now, triangle pattern at also just do the way platforms are. You can get some really extended juggles. Like you can throw someone onto this platform, hit them into this platform, and then combo them to death or something. Because the top platform is so close to the ceiling of the stage compared to the main stage. Um, now due to the small size of this stage though, characters who have lots of grounded speed don't really gain much from the stage. They actually lose a bit compared to characters like Robin or Bowser, who are slow, but because there's not much room to cover, I actually really like the fact that this stage is so small. So I'm on Falcon, I can get across the stage in a second, but as Robin, it may take like twice as much time to get across, but it doesn't matter because as Robin I'm going to have projectiles, I'm going to have long range area moves, I'm going to be able to just throw out stuff say like here, and this is my zone, from here to about here, so I'd say like from here to underneath the top middle platform is my zone as a character like Rob or Bowser or DK, who isn't fast but has all these long reaching moves. That is going to keep my opponent at bay. And so a character like those two I'm going to love picking, or I'm going to love using on the stage. Which will place on the next thing. You can't really run away from big hitboxes that well, you can't really run away from characters that well. Because unless you're someone like, well, Diddy Kong, who can really abuse the mobility of these platforms. You're gonna have to be forced to fight, and you have to be dealing with these hitboxes all the time, just because there's not enough room for you to run around and like really confuse your opponent, run circles around them, and basically just wait for them to do something. Because if you wait for them to do something, if I'm Robin, I can just slowly advance, slowly advance, cover options, cover options, and now I'm over here. And now say you're a Falcon over here. Where do you go? If you go up in these platforms, I can cover you. If you go through me over here, I can cover you. If you go over here. I just walk over to the left and you're covered again. Go on the way top, you're in a bad spot. Because I think about platforms on stage like this is actually getting off the platforms when someone is below you is difficult. And yeah. So that's the gist of it. A character like Fox, who actually uses his narrows from full hop height to approach. He uses his side beat to cover a lot of stage, uses his speed to maneuver. Probably doesn't want this stage. So basically, characters with bad approaches are better for the stage, and characters with strong approaches is we don't want this. Now, the other thing about the stage is that, similar to FD, you can go underneath the stage. It is significantly easier though on the stage in FD because I don't think Diddy Kong can do it. Oh, maybe he can. But yeah, compared to FD, the under part of the stage is much shorter, much smaller. There's less distance to cover vertically and horizontally. So not only is it easier if characters go on the stage if they can go under FD. But characters who can't go on this stage in FD might be able to do it on this stage just because it's so much smaller. See, look, Diddy Kong can do it on this stage. But I'm almost positive on FD he can't do it. So this means if you have bad ledge options, this stage is pretty preferable for most characters. It gives you one extra ledge option. And even though it's easier to get across the stage in Battlefield, it's easier to get under as well. It's faster, so it kind of bounces out. So, talk about the stage now.
pretty much already discussed this, but just to like just list off characters who I think we want this stage. Characters like DK probably want this stage. Get these aerial juggles, get nice space coverage. Also characters who can knock you off a platform. Like say I am a Diddy Kong and I hit you off the platform with F2 and you pratfall. And I can just fall down and do a down to it as you pratfall and, and jab block you basically. Characters with gimmicky combos like that would probably love this stage if they can land consistently. So I would pick the stage if I was a Robin or an Olimar because I can kiss hand the platforms here. If I was um, a Samus because I can use these platforms for my Florida and my up air combos, I can camp on there with missiles. If I was a. Uh, what else? Uh, probably Villager. Because once you understand these platforms, just throw my projectiles out, throw my gyroids out, really keep my opponents at bay. Characters I want, want wouldn't want to go to the stage as are Fox because I utilize the speed and flat stages to my advantage. Platforms make approaching harder. I don't really get the best juggles out of these platforms compared to other characters. And because my fall speed is so fast as Fox, I can't really utilize the different spots of these platforms to my advantage. Because one thing you might about platforms like this is if you're falling too fast, you can get if you're up here and you're falling, you can't even get to the left or right platforms because your fall speed is so like fast. And you're just gonna be easier to target the juggle. So it's Fox, I wouldn't want to go here as Sonic. I probably wouldn't want to go here because my vertical mobility as Sonic isn't the best. And all every character for the most part can like kinda run around you in this stage. They're definitely ones who are better than others, so Sonic isn't really good at this stage, I don't think. Um as Falcon I actually I'd love to stage because even though my approach options are limited, I'm not really approaching from full hop jipe full hop height, so I'm not using these platforms to my advantage as much. I'm getting a lot of strength stabbing so up air string on these platforms, can potentially up air, up air, up air, up air into knees or something. As Mario, I wouldn't want this stage because I can't reproach with fireballs if someone's like here. Because I have to approach from fireball from like here, and then by the time my fireball gets to the opponent, I get to the opponent. It's very predictable what I'm going to do. The other brother, though, Luigi, would probably love this stage. And yeah, there's just a few examples of characters who might and might not like these stages. Generally speaking, the big characters can't approach like these stages. Fast characters don't get as much from these stages. So, um, what else? Characters with strong projectile games like Rob. Oh my god, Rob in the stage is really good, actually. And yeah. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is I talked about FD, which is the polar opposite of the stage in my last video. And now, uh, what do you do when you have a character like, let's say, Alomar, who gets huge benefits from both a long flat stage like FD and then a small platform stage like this? And you don't really know what stage to pick for certain characters, you don't know which character to go in these stages. It's oftentimes worth looking, not at the advantages you get, but at the disadvantages your opponent get, as I was talking before about Fox and Mario not being good for the stage. So if you can't pick a stage, sometimes just instead of looking at your character strengths, it's better to look at your opponent's disadvantages and pick from there. And even then, just be able to acknowledge how characters' game plans change up with these stages helps a lot. And I think that's all I have to discuss in this video. My next video will probably be discussing. I'm going to probably discuss Halbert because it has one long platform on top of it and a slant. So, yeah, until then, I hope you learned something. This was Fields of Battle number two, and I am the Buzz. Have, uh, have fun smashing.